Welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute, your weekly resource for tips and insights into the mental side of equestrian sport. I had the pleasure last week of auditing the teacher training course for Philippe Carl's School of Lightness. And I left with a renewed appreciation for the complexity and depth of understanding, knowledge, and skill that's required to achieve at the highest level in equestrian sport. I also left thinking and wondering about some of the traps that we set for ourselves along the way, and I want to share two of them with you today with some ideas about a pathway forward. The first trap is I'm going to call the hopelessness trap or perhaps the complexity trap. Sometimes we get ourselves in a situation where we focus way ahead down the road towards our long-term goals and perhaps we're riding with an instructor or taking a clinic or we're watching a video or reading a book and we're surrounded by someone who is presenting things that we are not yet able to do. And at times we can get ourselves into a negative thinking cycle about how we're never going to be able to do that, that's too difficult for us, that's too far away, we've been working at it so long but we have so much more to go. When we can get ourselves feeling hopeless about our prospects of attaining or achieving our long-term goals. And what we run the risk of in those cases is giving up. On the other side of the coin uh, is, and at the other end of the spectrum, is what I call the simplicity trap, which is that in our seeking confidence, competence, and mastery, we sometimes can overestimate our abilities. We might go to a clinic, master a few important necessary skills, and talk ourselves into thinking that we now have the big picture and we know everything that we need to know. And obviously then, along the way, we are going to have difficulties attaining future goals because we aren't invested in continuing and developing our knowledge, understanding, and skill. So how do we navigate these traps that we can set for ourselves? Like most things in psychology and in equestrian sport, I preach about balance. It's really important to be able to hold at the same time a long-term view and understand how much there is to learn and how much skill there is to develop and how much experience we need to have in order to develop ourselves so that we can achieve at the highest levels of the sport. At the same time, while we hold on to that, we need to understand that we can only work on what's in front of us now. And to be able to identify one or two or three things that we can work on right now that will take us one step further or two steps further down the road towards our long-term goals. That's a very important role for a trainer or instructor, or in my case, a consultant, is to help keep our students inspired by the vision of the long-term goals. Help them be inspired by understanding that there is so much to learn and remind them that they can learn it. It will require dedication and hard work, but it is something that they can achieve. And then on the other side of things is to help them understand or select one or two or three things today, this week, that they can work on that's going to take them one step further down the road towards their long-term goals. That's Sports Psych in a Minute. We'll see you next week.